Friends and peoples, let us talk about one of the novel which is included among the world's literature. The title of this novel is The Lost Honor of Katharina Bloom, written by Heinrich Bohl. It is published in 1974. It is a fiction by genre, a novel. The Lost Honor of Katharina Bloom is a novel by Heinrich Bohl, published in 1974 in Germany, drawing on the tense political climate in Germany at the time. It uses a documentary style written as if it were a report, but also incorporating an unreliable element. The book begins with a declaration of sources for the report and then offers blunt journalistic detail about newspaper reporter Werner Thor. Yes, killed at the hands of Katharina Bloom. Todgis was killed in Bloom's apartment and Bloom wandered around the city for some hours before presenting herself to Walter Moiting of the police at his home to confess the crime. Moiding is a kind of Katharina, is kind to Katharina, advising her not to speak on her telephone as it might be taped. He goes to Katharina's apartment with police officer and discover the body of Todgis. Adolf Schooner, a co colleague of Todgis, is also found shot dead some distance away. Initially, it is assumed there is a connection, but this is not, this is stated up in front of not be the case. Schooner's murder was a separate and unrelated matter entirely. The report then goes back in time four days tracing the chain of event that led to the murder, beginning with Bloom's meeting with the suspected terrorist and criminal Ludwig Gotten. The report then stresses that goal is not to explore the low nature of a violent crime, but rather the higher consideration, especially how a brutal murder can be understood through the motivation of the perpetrators. Katharina, born to a poor family, does well in school and is industrious, getting domestic work with neighborhood families. When she graduates, she secures a position as a maid while attending a graduate school to earn a degree in home economics. Her reputation as a domestic is sterling and she is offered a position by the Blorna family as a live inmate. But she turns it down, Wallin, valuing her privacy and independence. The Blornas make a revised offer that includes assistance in buying a, uh, a condominium for herself. And Katharina accept Katharina marries Wilhelm Breitlow. But the marriage is a disaster and ends in divorce. Katharina attends a party thrown by her friend and godmother Elsa Waltersheim, where she meets Ludwig Gotten. Katharina, unaware that Gotten is wanted criminal charged with murder, takes him home and sleeps with him. Falling in love the next day, the police arrive at her apartment. Katharina helps Gotten escape just before they break her door down and search her apartment. The police take Katharina into custody and bring her to the station for questioning. Katharina's arrest is witnessed and photographed by a Werner Todgis, a journalist working for the tabloid newspaper Die Zeitung. Todgis begins investigating her life as modding warned Todgis does. Indeed, listen in her on her phone conversation. Her interview, several of her former employer, her ex-husband and her mother, who is in the hospital and who dies shortly after the stressful argumentative interview. 
Trotkis writes a series of articles that paint Katharina in a very bad light climbing. She is a loose woman who has destroyed marriages and pursued money as well as communist sympathizer and a criminal accomplice of Gotten. Trotkis go does this by twisting and misrepresenting the words of many of Katharina's friends and former employers using their statement out of context. Trotkis published an article including the blurness to Katharina supposed terrorist activities accusing them of being communists themselves. The police search Katharina's apartment and discover an expensive diamond ring and an anonymous love letter they press her to reveal who wrote the letter and gave her the ring but she refuses katharina thinks no one would believe she has a relationship with alios straws blunder a well-known politician even if she admitted to it straws Stroll Blunder had given Katharina a key to his house and she could meet him there at will. Katharina gave the key to Gorton, telling him to go hide there. When the police learned this, they go and there and arrest Gorton. Katharina becomes despondent. Her life has been destroyed. Her career is over. Her friends are distancing themselves from her out of self-preservation. Her mother has died and her personal life is in shambles. Blaming Todgis, she seeks revenge. She contacts Todgis, inviting him to her apartment. When Todgis arrives, he is imperious and smug about his control over her. Todgis suggests Katharina sleep with him, making it clear how he views her. This is the final straw of Katharina, who shot Todgis several times. She then goes to uh, Midong's house, as recounted at the beginning of this novel. So this is the story of the, uh, the lost honor of Katharina Bloom, written by uh, Henrich Bohl and I hope this is a very um, curious novel, a mystery, a, myst uh, a little bit mystery is there, a politics is involved uh, and uh, personal jealousy and uh, liking and disliking is involved in this novel. The Lost Honor of Katharina Bloom uh, by Henrich Bohl. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, I hope you will enjoy this while you read it. Thank you very much for the kind listening.